I swear you're part of that cross state crew. Isn't it? Hey, Jock! Yeah, and what? <laughs> you got proper shit, boy. So box you in the mouth, you know that? Now you need to save that aggression for tonight, bro. We're doing the Vic, fam. Yeah, whatever, Mitch. Hey, bruv, I'm on my way to go and pick up the equipment right now as it happens. What, gun? Well, the Vic's a big job, isn't it? Now listen, Mitch, I know we were chatting about no, it no, yesterday. No, 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 I've got the boys coming east later, do you understand me? Hmm? This is proper big time. Ah, uh, thanks, at last. Come on. Right. Eat that, and then get yourself to the job centre. Alright, I said I would, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Look at these. I need a new pair of trainers, right? These are wasted. Look at that. Get your feet off the table, will ya? I'll tell you what. Get yourself a couple of interviews, and I'll see what I can do. Thanks, bun. Or we can look in the catalogue later. I mean, you need an interview shirt anyway. You doing anything tonight? No. Definitely ain't doing nothing tonight. It's all good, man. What's the bill? It's Mitch, isn't it? He's taking this whole thing from far too seriously. Why, what's he said? He was out last night trying to score a gun. That's so typical of Mitch. Exactly. See, I'm the one that set that meeting up. That was my contact. Like he could score a gun all by himself. Keep it down. It's my sister over there. Con, the thing is, yeah, this is right on my doorstep. When you first moved back here, I thought you deserted me. I never desert you. You've been like a brother to me. No matter where I live. Take some guts to stand up to that Mitchell bloke, but you've done it, rude boy. And I'm proud of you, we're proud of you. See, that's why tonight we're all back in it, you understand? It's a simple thing, you don't let no one disrespect you like that. You're worth more than that. You had a deal. You want your pocket money, you got to get down the job centre now. I'm ever so sorry, but Billy can't come out to play today. He's got better things to do. Go in. Don't you let me down. <laughs> I thought I'd seen the last of that lot. All right, I know it was a bit harsh, a bit harsh. You wait till I get him home. Are we going to stop him from building up the feds? Because if they do, we'll put a bullet in the red. Now, there's four doors, yeah? Right. Got to keep all of them covered, so if you and Mitch are here, mm. me and Billy here... Right. Well? Must be some kind of job, man. Couldn't get a thing. What are we supposed to do now? Easy, babe, chill. Just have to leave it, innit? Well, look, we'll hit the pub when the equipment comes through, innit? No, I should have done this on my ones. It's just a night off. Bang, bang, bang. See, you've got dark brown on here. Look, see your face. What? Hey, Wit. Alright. Oh, no, thanks. I've got to get back to the store. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to invite you out to dinner. Oh, that sounds good. Mm-hmm. Argy bargy, courtesy of Bianca. Sounds even better. <laughs> yeah, it was meant to be a girls' night out, but. Bianca reckons you need to stay clear of your mum tonight. Oh, no, stop it. I've got to get back. Uh, about seven? Definitely. Okay. <laughs> Listen, let me explain, yeah? Your brother thought we were tight, man. Yeah, we are. You said you got rid of him. So you're lying to us now, yeah? No. Look, I did it for you lot, yeah? We don't need to be getting mixed up in all this heavy stuff. Yeah? Then why you still got it? Your brother, he's laughing at us. No. Look, you lot are like my family, yeah? I'd never do you down, all right? I respect you all too much. Prove it. Hey, Whit. Yeah? You should come to the Vic tonight. We're putting on a show. Oh. What is she all about? Nothing. Well, look, we can go to the Vic if you want. No, I don't want you there, all right? Just promise me you ain't going to the pub. 
<laughs> Babe, they got a bit of a problem with Phil Mitchell. It might kick off a bit. But it's no biggie. Uh, you're not involved, are you? Nah. I've got a date with a princess. Yeah? yeah. That's right, you yeah. <laughs> have. See you later. <laughs> What's good? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's go, yeah? You got it. Let's just do this, yeah? Yeah, bro. Make me proud, man. Here, Renee. He ain't gone to the vehicle, is it? Where? Jack. And um, this might sound stupid, but I'm probably am being stupid, I think. It's probably Don't nothing. Slow down, are you? What is it? Couple more things. Excuse me. Phil, you need it downstairs. Can't it wait? No, it can't. Excuse me. This better be good. When I said off, just give it to me. It's a bit early for April Fools, isn't it? Get the gun out. Wait, get away from it. You give it to me. Give me the money. Come on! Give me the money! Come on! Hey, let's go! Shoot him! Come on. Give, give me the gun! Come on! Come on, shoot him! No! Just give me the gun! Give him the gun. Prove it. Caught up in this? Please, Ian, just take me home. Try to uh, get us a drink for Billy there. You really are a rich man. <laughs> Thank you. What a hero. Leave him alone. I'm gonna go. Let's uh, just kids mucking around, you know. It didn't look like that to us. Oh, honestly, it's all, it's all been taken care of. I mean, the fella's mum was she was here all the time. Wouldn't want to be in his shoes when he gets home. <laughs> I mean, your old man, he must have dealt with this sort of malarkey, didn't he? I never felt threatened in my own home. It weren't even a real gun. So what happened, Carol? Did you drop him on his head when he's a baby? I can't get my head around it. What have you done? And the police are going to turn up any minute. No, maybe not. Phil don't like the police and he's going to want his money back. <sighs> well, I know which other of it. Right, is there any chance these mates of yours might have a pang of conscience and bring it back? Every time I see one of those police signs on the pavements, all, all I can see is you lying there bleeding. I never, never in my wildest dreams thought you'd be the one pulling the trigger. Wait, sit down. Come on, you know, you ought to be proud of me. 
Yeah, they were talking about going in with real guns, but I wouldn't. Oh, well, that don't matter, does it? Because when you put something in someone's face that looks like a real gun, they're going to want you dead, Billy. Think about it. You know what? It ain't going to take long before you progress onto the real thing. Oh, no, no, it ain't like no, that. No, you mark my words. Right, the next time you look down, it's going to be a real gun. I'm not an idiot. Maybe we should call the police ourselves. I reckon I can remember some of their names. No, that no I'm not a boss. No, you'll do as you're told. They're my mates. They're your mates, but what are we talking about? They've all done a run-up. Do not test me, you. Yeah? Do you know me? Right. Do you know me? Right, who do you think you're talking to? We all know. You know, there are boys in this family who've done a lot worse than me, haven't they? You're a tough man here. Hey, tough man. Yes, yeah, tough you look like an emulsory slab, shall we? Anyone? Well, in the eyes of the law, it's the same thing. Possession of an imitation firearm with intent to commit an offence. Or right, you're looking at the same sentence as someone with a real gun, Billy. Did you know that? I mean, what you did tonight, Billy, a, a judge would give you a life sentence for that. Yeah, so you look me in the eyes. You tell me they were worth it. 